Welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the north, and the 12th position up against Valandir. He is... Wow, that is a, that's another great name from a Zerg player. He is the Blue Zerg in the northeast, eastish, 2 o'clock position on Scrap Station. Um, and he gives me a big smiley face for wishing him good luck and have fun. So already I'm in a little bit better mood, um, even though I know... Um, exactly what he means he means uh well, it's a big smile to mean i am going to destroy you and he very well might i have been not been doing well against zerg players lately especially on a large map like this um zerg players can get that second hatchery out so fast and there's really nothing i can do about that i might be able um no, this ramp is too big for any sort of cheese here. Uh, what I was going to say is on smaller ramps, you might be able to throw down two quick bunkers here and deny any sort of um, transfer with drones or anything like that. And it might be able to, to you know, to separate the Zerg player into two bases uh, and allow you to take out that expansion before he is able to get enough reinforcements there. But he is be he is able to take the lead here in harvester count. I of course am not getting any scouting done because I never get any scouting done on this map because I think the rush distance is too far. He does send his overlord over though, so he is able to get uh, scouting because of the short air distance. And yes, he is going to be going for it. Looks like a 15 hatch here. There we go, 15 hatch. Uh, 15 hatch and 14 extractor. Maybe even that extractor went up a little bit earlier than the than the hatchery did. Um, so already we are going to be seeing um, fast hatchery followed by a quick spawning pool. So if I was to scout this, I might say that he was going for quick zerglings because that extractor is up. I would assume speedlings, um, but. Uh, really, that spawning pool could go up just so he can get the cr queen out and get larva out sooner. Maybe he's going for roaches. Who's to say? He could even be going for banelings. You just never know with Zerg players. They can switch so quickly. Um, I'm so envious of that, but that is one of their trademarks. Uh, Zerg players can always expand um, s quickly and always tech switch quickly. Um, as soon as this building's up, really, you know, all the larvae here can just quickly become whatever comes up. Like if a spire's up and he's got 17 larvae, boom, 17 mutas just right off the bat. That is something I would love to do, but Terran is kind of, you know, it, it's good as it is. Uh, so many people say it's overpowered. I don't really see it um, because I've seen so I've had so much trouble with Zerg players, especially when they go Baneling, Muta uh, builds, uh, even the Zergling Baneling Muta builds. Uh, the Banelings oh do do pose such a great problem against my build, and of course I'm not changing it at all right now. That is something I should do. I need I need I need a new strategy against Zerg players, especially again on larger maps where I won't be able to do some early harassing with. Um, Marines and Marauders. I need some sort of uh, possibly uh, the Destiny Cloud Fist build, I believe it's called, uh, where I go uh, one barracks, one um, one factory, one starport, and start doing some harassment with Banshees. Uh, maybe start doing some harassment with Hellions. I hardly ever bring out Hellions in a map uh, against Zerg players, and especially against Banelings um, and Zerglings, and of course. The, the drones, the, the Hellions do a lot of damage, so if I'm able to get a, an early Hellion out, that might do wonders for me. Of course, um, he doesn't have anything out on the field in terms of defense yet, but 12 Zerglings aren't on the way, so if I was able to get uh, that fast... Um, that fast factory, I would be able to get the Hellion out before the Zerglings popped out, and I should be able to do some good damage and of course he these guys don't have any speed uh, but they are fast enough to take out the marine that I had watching the Zalnaga tower uh, so now I know these guys are on the way I did go for a fast expansion of my own not as fast as his but that's never really an option when you're a Terran player 
And the Zergling should go down here. There's not much they can do, especially with those two last Marines popping out. Uh, what I should be doing here is going for the counterattack. Um, is he going to... No, I shouldn't be going for the counterattack because, of course, the Zerg players can get those Zerglings up so incredibly fast. Uh, he still doesn't know that I have the... the the expansion there but he should assume it because of the placement of my army I do put it here because this is the only way into um, the the expansion except for these uh, th this debris right here but I don't assume that he's going for it so I just put all my uh, Marines and Marauders right outside there he's got some hidden Zerglings behind the gap the, the smoke there um, meanwhile, he is uh, droning up while he's going for on the defensive, um, so he's able to get you know 10, um, 10 drones all out at once, and he's able to retake to the lead in harvesters. And oh, here I just waste a stim. No reason for that. The zerglings were already running away, uh, but I panicked and I hit that T button, got the stim down, and these zerglings are able to run away and fight again some other time meanwhile he is going for mass zerglings again 22 zerglings when he saw that i was pretty much sticking with the marines and marauders uh why not go for the baneling nest and that is what he is going for uh, so he's going for mass zerglings here he's got great placement on those spine crawlers the only way into his base is through the back door which i would need to do but he's got a creep tumor there he will be able to see everything that goes on with that destructible debris. He's doing a great job of spraying his creep early in the game. That is something a lot of Zerg players do forget, um, but it's really not the ones that I seem to be playing. I do play good Zerg players. I must admit, the Zerg players that I play always seem to do better than uh, the other races in terms of knowing what they're supposed to be doing, because Zerg, I will say, is the hardest um, the hardest race to learn. Uh, Terran, of course, is the easiest, followed by Protoss, but then Zerg is in a whole nother level of what you have to keep track of. Um, it is just so different that I can't do it. I, I've honestly tried. I, I, I have, I, I struggle with a medium AI opponent on Zerg. I, you will never see me play Zerg. Um, just can't do it. So we've got He's got quite a few Banelings out right now. He's got 13 Banelings along with 24 Zerglings. And here I go in for an attack here, just so ill-advised. Really, he's stuck to two bases. I should just be guarding everything down here, make sure he's not getting any expansions. And I should be happy with that, he's, that, we're, that we have the same amount of bases. All those banelings were able to explode. Uh, they don't have speed yet, so they are just waddling around. Um, I, s I swore I saw. No, I, I swore I saw one of them with a with a kill, but that was that was just my mind playing tricks on me. Um, so what is he going for now? He's he did get that spire up. The spire is way late, so I do have a massive amount of missile turrets up at my main base. Nothing at my expansion yet, which is still not fully saturated. I would love to see a transfer, uh, simply because if even though these guys aren't really oversaturated here. And they're getting some good mining done. There's not that many minerals left there, uh, while there is a ton left here. So I would love to see a transfer, but I don't think that that happens for a while. Baneling's popping out once again. He's gone mass Baneling, and I'm pretty much sticking with Baneling fodder here. Uh, <laughs> really, uh, I would love if he would if I, if I went for the the marauders and the marines on a separate hotkey i could micro the marines behind the marauders and i would hope that the zergling player wasn't good enough to mi to know to go for the the, mar the marines and not the marauders because the marauders of course have a lot more hp and they would be able to tank that a lot better and i do believe yes the 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 banelings do bonus damage to the marines anyways uh, they do 35 damage against light units as opposed to 20 on the marauders so if i can g somehow get him to to use the banelings on the marauders that should be good enough for me a third hatchery on the way so because i moved in for the attack did not allow myself 
to get to macker up and good lord I am not spending my minerals at all well, look at that 1500 almost 400 but of course he's not doing that much better but really I he, once that spire is up I assume no the spire is 